So I know a lot of folks around this area love Reuben sandwiches. I am one of those as well. But ever thought about having it as a dip? Well, you can. And the flavor, it's all there for you, just kind of minus the rye bread. If that's the bread you use, that's the bread you should use for that, right? We're going to make here a Reuben dip. So first things first, let's go over our ingredients, kind of show you what we have going on here because there is quite a bit to it, but nothing too terribly crazy. So in the front here, what we have for a little bit of heat, I'm going to do just a dash of cayenne pepper. So uh, if you want to heat, you want more heat, put more in there, right? And so as you know, a Reuben has a sauce with it. It's kind of a Thousand Island sauce. Well, Thousand Island, a quick recipe that you can do at home is mayonnaise and ketchup. Well, there's my ketchup right there. Not using mayonnaise, though. I'm actually going to go with sour cream. Greek yogurt would work well with this if you want to go that route. And then over here, uh, a little bit more flavor is going to be your Dijon mustard. Won't tilt this too much because it's a liquid. That is Worcestershire in there. Got my, uh, my pepper mill here. We'll grind some fresh peppercorns in there course with the Reuben you have sauerkraut now when you do your sauerkraut uh, take it out of your jar or if you get it in the can that's fine too but make sure it's well drained maybe even take a paper towel and dab it dry and of course you have meat on a Reuben sandwich so you can go pastrami if you'd like um, sometimes it's hard to find depending where you shop so I went with corned beef hash which is in your deli section by the way have them slice it fresh for you there in the deli, and then you'll just take it and cut it into small little bites like you see there. And then we have some sweet relish that's going to go on this. So the first thing you're going to do is take your cream cheese. Now, I'm making a smaller version of this because my container, uh, which, by the way, is in my bag, Whitney, if I can get that container from you. Although, that's okay. I don't need it. Uh, we're fine. I'll do that later. Um, but nonetheless, is, is your cream cheese. So I'm making a smaller version, so kind of double this, if you will. So what I have inside my bowl is cream cheese. I did half a block of cream cheese. This is four ounces worth, but your whole block is going to be eight ounces. And I softened it in the air fryer, uh, which I've already taken away because we don't need it anymore. But I softened it, and you see they're very, very easy to mix. That is with the consistency you want to have. You don't want it cold because you're not going to get it mixed. Next thing is, is all you start doing is adding in all your other ingredients. So here's a sauerkraut. We're going to go about a cup there of sauerkraut. But the thing about this recipe, this dip is tweak it to your liking. Do you want more sour? Do you want more sweet? So we've got the sauerkraut in there already. We're going to throw in that sweet relish. This is going to be about maybe, mm, we'll say that's about a fourth to maybe a third of a cup. There is the uh, corned beef hash that we have kind of cubed up into small little bites. We'll take the pepper and do a little bit of that fresh pepper in there, grind it up just a little bit. I have two types of cheeses with this. The first is going to be a Gruyere. And I took the Gruyere and I shredded it with my cheese grater. Uh, Gruyere is a somewhat sweet but kind of a nutty cheese. You'll go about a cup of that. And, of course, uh, you're going to go with your Swiss cheese as well. So you'll throw that in too. Now we'll get to the other ingredients. So we're going to throw in just a dash of the Worcestershire. This is going to be maybe about a tablespoon or two of that. We'll get your Dijon mustard mixed in right there on top. And of course, the big base for all this is going to be that sour cream that you're going to go with. Oh, by the way, if you want to, this is uh, roughly about maybe about a cup of sour cream. If you want to do half a cup of sour cream, half a cup of mayonnaise, that would work as well. But I know Ron, you know Ron, not a mayonnaise fan. So no mayonnaise in there for Ron. To kind of make that Thousand Island sort of dressing, you're going to need a little bit of your ketchup in there. And then, of course, that heat is going to be your cayenne pepper. That's all you have to do. Now you just take it in here with your spatula and you mix it up in your bowl. And now since you have a lot of ingredients in here, keep in mind this actually could take a little bit. So take some time with this. Uh, make sure everything is thoroughly mixed. You'll notice we got a good, not a very good blend of colors right now. There's not a good blend. And so you're going to make sure that you use your spatula, kind of dig it in there ever so often because you're separating the cheeses. You're making sure that the meat uh, is not going to be stuck together. You're going to make sure that your cream cheese, your sour cream, that cayenne pepper, that's all mixed in there nice and neat so that when you put this into your baking dish, that it's all nice and even so that when you're done baking it in your oven or if you want to do it like I do, the air fryer, which is a whole lot quicker, by the way, um, you'll have really good flavor all mixed in. Now, the reason I mentioned earlier to really drain that sauerkraut is you can see 
you kind of got a little sheen in there because we already have the moisture in there from we've got the moisture of the Worcestershire, you know, a little bit of moisture from uh, the ketchup and the Dijon mustard, sour cream. So you want to really make sure that you drain that sauerkraut because it does have a lot of water in it when you buy it in the cans or the jars and you don't want this to be liquidy. You want to have a nice, uh, somewhat thick consistency. And the Miracle of Television, my baking dish actually just shows up. So thank you very much for that, Whitney. And so as you see, this actually makes a lot. This is half the recipe and it makes a lot. So my baking dish is not going to hold it all. But what you're going to do is just scoop it up into your bowl or your, your baking dish that you have here. And once it's all said and done, take take your fork and kind of beep, 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 beep over the top of it. And that'll give you a really good uh, browning with the dish. You put it inside the oven or the uh, air fryer if you like. Let yourself get some brown on top, and there you go right there. Look at that. That is a Reuben dip, a little bit of browning on top, browning of the cheese, a little browning there of the uh, corned beef there, and, of course, a nice warm dip there in the bottom, and you serve it right there with a nice sturdy chip. Give yourself a pita chip. So Ron tries it out coming up right after the break.